I love you, bubbas. I love you. Um, check out the new hairdo. I hate it. And why am I telling you this? Because this reading ain't about me. It's about you. I hate my fucking new hairdo. I just paid 300 fucking dollars for a hairdo that I cannot. No, no, the hairdo I actually love. Like she did a great job cutting my hair. This is a great style, man. It's fucking wild and crazy. But the color sucks, right? I wanted something so much fucking better. Like, like this is so dark. I don't want dark, right? She said caramel tones. Caramel is light. I mean, at least the food caramel, right? But let me check this out. Let me let me explain to you why the hell this is part of your channeled message. Because number one, if something goes wrong, you got to speak up about it. You got to tell people that you don't feel like it went right. And I know that can be very difficult, especially when now all of a sudden, oh my God, that puts me in the chair of the bad guy. I'm the bad guy because I'm, I, you know, because I, I'm not happy. Why are you the bad guy? Because you're not happy. Like, first of all, ding red flag and mark the red flag there like why are you the bad guy just because you're not happy right but there is something going on that there's like it's confrontational there's 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 confrontation there's a dissonance here okay that is that is opportunity actually it's not necessarily um you uh it's not it's not in other words when you reach that dis point of dissonance with somebody it is not necessarily a sign or a symbol that oh they're not meant to be in my life. I can't have this person in my life. Uh-uh, I can't have them in my life. No. You ever seen that movie, uh, Trainwreck with Amy Schumer? You see, remember that sign, uh, that, that um, scene between uh, her and Bill Hader where they get into a fight and she's literally like, okay, well, it was really nice. I'll see, you know, I, I think, thanks for the good time. And he's like, wait, what? And she's like, um, we just fought. And I get it. It Some things just don't work out. And he's like, what are you talking about? We had a fight. That's what couples do. We discuss, we fight, we move on. I have a feeling like you've been holding back the fight. You've been holding back the fight because you're afraid that what the fight means is that you're over, you're done, and it's not working out. And I don't care if it's romance. I don't care if it's uh, a friendship. I don't care if it's with your fucking teacher or your boss. The, the idea of avoiding confrontation because you're afraid of what that means. Afraid that it means, well, then something doesn't work out. No. The thing that makes something stand the test of time is that it can you know, go through the fire and still get stronger. It's, it's, it's sort of like that, that tempered metal that gets stronger as it gets heated. And there is something that is getting heated or it has been heated, right? And so now what you're really being asked to do is move through it. And I know that, that that's not the easiest thing, but think about that. Think about it. It's like, why would something end just because there's conflict? Conflict can breed strength. Conflict. I mean, think about, um, I don't know if you guys have ever taken yoga class, right? Or if you guys have ever worked out in any capacity, think about it or think about hiking. Think about it. It's like you don't give up when you start to sweat. You don't give up when it starts to strain. If you get a cramp, you take a rest, you massage a little bit and you move on. <laughs> it, discomfort, which is what conflict is. Conflict isn't breaking, but it is discomfort, right? Discomfort is not a sign of, oh, this isn't meant to be. Discomfort is not a sign of, um, oh, uh, like, no, like, like this isn't going to work out. Discomfort is a sign of, um, you have potential to get stronger here. And there is definitely a feeling that, because when, oh, okay. I'm going to channel this message to you. I'll finish channeling the message. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the cards that I'm looking at because I've already drawn cards for you. And then, of course, please stick around for the whole reading. You don't want to miss your animal totem reading, right, which is going to show you how the natural world world will be sending messages to you and what those messages mean. And then also your angel messages, which talk a hell of a lot different than I do. OK, they don't have to be censored. <laughs> um, um, and then, of course, yes, there's always an extended reading. That's two readings in one. One video <clears throat> and it is your extended tarot card detailed articulated specifics reading and then your uh, romance specific reading so that's a link below um now just so you know um oh 
I'm going to briefly interrupt your reading once again. As much as you hate me for this, I apologize. I have a new channel, so please go check out Astrology Motivation. I'll attach, I've, I've attached the card above earlier on in this video. Astrology Motivation, and that's where I have, that's where I, um, I publish my weekly astro astrology forecasts and my astrology motivation, which are videos and clips that I put together from these videos um, that basically are universal messages for everybody that are pinpointing growth and manifestation and healing. So anyway, that's all over there. And I hope you go subscribe to that channel and also enjoy those videos as well. I can't squeeze any more videos onto this channel. I've tried and it didn't work out so well. So, um, so yeah, so Taurus, there is a need for you, a call for you to let go and release. Maybe anger, frustration, frustration at yourself, fear. Fear um, Fear kind of is that emotion that leads us to extremes. It basically tells us it's only one way or the other and there's nothing else. Oh my God, that's a bunch of bullshit. There is so much else. There are so many other options and there are so many ways through this situation. And yeah, it's going to take a little bit of you getting over yourself and it's going to take a little bit of them getting over them, getting over themselves. But the bottom line is, how do they know how to get over themselves if you don't speak and tell them what they need to get over? Right. That's that's kind of what I'm getting now. There there is a sense of maybe you're just you're a little bit worried of how somebody is going to interpret what you say or what you feel. Maybe you feel a little bit pissed off that you have to um, censor yourself as much as you don't want to. Right. You, so say it, say it and own it. And and whatever happens, happens. Right. But it's a lot better. I always feel like it's better to pay the consequences for the, your truth than it is to um, 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 take the rewards from your lie, you know, it, because then it, it's a lie that you have to perpetuate. And there's no amount of reward that can really compensate for how uncomfortable it becomes to not be able to be yourself and to have to continue to perpe like perpetually be somebody that you're not. And I, I kind of feel like there's, there's this, there's this sense about you that you've been tolerating something, but you haven't been happy about it. And that's why I use the example of my hair. It's like, I was not happy about it. And instead of tolerating it, I said something about it. It is definitely not the right color for me. It's definitely not the right, like I don't feel comfortable in it, right? I miss, I miss my lighter hair. Um, but, and I said, I finally spoke up and I said something and you know what? She's a lady with integrity. Just because we disagreed doesn't mean we have to hate each other. And it also doesn't mean that I, I am going to go back to her because she offered me a color, a, re, a, a color job for free. She's like, I hate that you're, you're unhappy. And, uh, because this is supposed to be her specialty and it doesn't feel like that. So um, it, it, she didn't like the fact that I was unhappy. But the bottom line is just because there's conflict doesn't mean there can't be resolution. And when you get through conflict with somebody, it actually can bring you closer and show you how much integrity they have. Because that's really when we see somebody's integrity, right? That's really, really when we see somebody's strength is when, um, when there are imperfections and when there are uh, challenges and when there are struggles. And when I once heard somewhere Taurus, that you really don't know somebody until you see how they deal with conflict. Uh, and that's really what's going on. How do you deal with conflict? Do you allow the conflict to come out? Or do you instead decide to try to hide it so that you don't ever have to confront it at all? Because that's a way of dealing with conflict too. But it's really cowardly. And it's really giving up. Don't give up. Letting go. So first this card came out and I'm like, letting go. Wow. What does Taurus have to let go of? But if you look in this card, she's letting go of, you know, what, what she has to say. She's speaking her mind and she's letting go of, um, basically, hold on, let me see. She, this, she's letting go of what's on her chest. And because of that, she's able, there's such a beautiful, 
um, there's such a beautiful world all around her. I said, what's, what, oh my God, what's going on? What does Taurus have to let go of? And then this card pops out and this card pops out. You have to let go in order to make room for the beauty that comes after the conflict. You have to allow the conflict to happen is what I'm saying. Because I think it's especially, especially if it's between you and somebody else specifically, you have to allow the conflict to happen. Because for real, there is so much joy that's going to come out of the conflict. Now, don't feel like you guys are alone because everybody's been like suffering through this week where it feels like you're completely crashing and it feels like you're you're headed toward ruination and it's the exact opposite. And in Scorpio's video, I compared it to the birth canal. You think like, this is the worst ever. This is the worst thing I've ever experienced. This is, this is horrible. I definitely don't wanna go down this path. And the path leads to life and the path leads to light and the path leads to a whole new adventure. And that's why I'm gonna ask you to trust these energies. You're gonna have so much to celebrate about. Now you may be disagreeing with somebody about a party or something that you're arranging. You may be pissed off, you may be angry, you may be getting frustrated with each other, you're butting heads because you don't agree on whatever you don't agree on, decorations, organization, whatever it is. It doesn't even have to literally be a party. Bottom line is you don't agree on something that you have to work with other people on and other people are pissing you off, but you have to be completely sincere and honest with the fact that they're pissing you off. As long as you can be respectful, no swearing, no cursing, no accusations, just be honest about, I'm disappointed. This is how I feel. This is what I wanted. This is what I envisioned. Uh, and how, cause how are they supposed to know unless you let them know? I'm telling you, this probably has something to do with somebody that's very close to you and something that's very important to the both of you or to the group of you. It's all very important. And that's why emotions are running high and opinions are running high. And everybody's got to get their fucking say. You ever heard of the best sex is makeup sex? Oh yeah, baby. This is what really lets you get to know each other. This is when you really start to make that eye contact. This is when you really start to ignite. There's something, it's almost like, it's almost like, I mean, check this out, man. There's a little partying going on. There's a little hanky panky. There's a connection with somebody, but then there's that real fire. You know, it's, it's more than attraction because it's, it's almost like you felt their fire, right? There's, there's that oomph that other people don't have. And that only comes by really being yourselves with each other. Material and spiritual prosperity. There is abundance here. You have all the resources that you need. And maybe now is the, is the time that you can start paying attention to other things like more passion, more sensuality, you know, getting a little like more gritty and, and I don't know. Yeah. Like erotic almost like there's a sensuality to this reading that I cannot get away from. It keeps repeating itself, but it repeats itself in public. So I know that it's still, hello. I know that it's still being subtle, right? It's, it's like, yeah, there's a passion ignited and it's almost like, People are talking, are talking about people. You know, that's, that's, it's a song by Bonnie Raitt, right? Um, say so just a little too close, yeah, just a little too long. Something we don't know. Let's give them something to talk about. I couldn't think of the fucking name. Um, let's give them something to talk about. And that's kind of what it is. People are talking. People can feel that there's tension building. Um, and maybe, but it's on the outside of you as you put this together. You're putting a lot together. Material and spiritual prosperity. There's abundance, man. And it's almost like, I'll say this, you ignite the prosperity in each other. Okay, lots of nuances, lots of emotion. Let it go, let it out, don't hold it back. It's bubbling up, it's coming out, and you know, the people that you can be honest with your emotions around are your fucking people. Like they're the people that are your people. There's no better people than those people. And let the, these emotions are bubbling up. It's hard, right? Because you feel like I was never able to open up before. And this is your central energy of just being held back by your emotions. You're held back by these emotions that are bogging you down. And that's why these emotions need to come out and need to come up. You need to trust that everything's going to be okay if you share what you're really feeling with somebody. 
what up just sing ah, and this is once again is almost like pretty woman with that red dress at the night at the opera it's it's when you start to learn of what you really love and where your passions are and 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 what you love so much you don't you 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 can lose yourself in um this is also high romance just sing this is letting it go. Look at all of this is repeating, repeating, repeating. Sing, speak, talk, share. Let the emotions come up. Uh, maybe you're maybe you're creating, I don't know, maybe you're creating something. Maybe you're writing a song. Maybe you're writing music. It, 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 it's just like, let it out. You're about to burst. Step away from the crowd, baby. You, do, you belong in front of the crowd. Step away from the crowd, Taurus. You belong in front. Don't fit in. This is not your time to fit in. This is the time that you stand out. You know, it's like you're it's, it's almost like you're you're taking center stage or you're taking center stage to a specific person and vice versa. Um, check this out. Luck is on your side. So this is Sagittarius energy. You're going to hit the mark. Taurus baby, but adjustments are required. Why? Because you have to compromise because somebody's going to be putting the same energy back at you and it's going to be forcing you to be malleable. It's going to be forcing you to get comfortable with discomfort and it's going to be challenging you like Mr. Miyagi and wax on wax off to teach you and make you stronger and make you actually something that is sensational. It's almost like pushing you pushing you pushing you you don't want it you don't want it you don't want it just to make you realize how much you do okay hello shed that old skin you're passing you're passing through you're letting go of what you used to be or what you used to assume you had to be you're shedding that you're done in other words this is a life cycle that's finishing out for you something is changing and that something is you you've grown out of what you used to be and now you're growing into your dreams and do you see how they have a very similar shape it's almost like one's the one's the positive one's the negative and i don't mean positive negative like 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 a, a negative as in camera film you know it's like one's negative space and one's the positive space right but it's the perfect fit for each other i'm just saying i'm saying it's like something has gone take been taken out of concept and and put into reality check this out the lenormand cards that pop out say the reading right check this out So this is your passion, your desires, maybe even your innocence. And then this is your success, gladness, happiness, victory. So this is really like victory and success with your passion. This is celebration of your passion. This is owning your passion, working your passion. And it's being acknowledged and recognized for your passion because you had courage to follow your passion. This is a hell of a lot of passion being brought to light. Okay, check this out. I feel alone, but you also got step away from the crowd. You are alone. You are singular. You are being singled out right now. You, you know, yeah, yeah. I feel alone doesn't mean I feel lonely. Okay, there's a strength here, right? There's a hope here, right? I will rejoice. I will rejoice in everything that I am standing my own ground and also being seen it's like i have to step out and show them i am special you know you're alone and you're singular because you're special like what are you supposed to do when you're special you're standing out you either look at all of this is performance or it has to do with sharing your emotions and just share like let out who you really are don't run from it don't hide from it don't suppress it this is the time to just let it all out if you like the reading so far please like the reading and then share it to your social media uh, platforms also subscribe down below and then click that bell and hit all notifications so that you know when i upload your favorite content taurus comes out every single um thursday along with aries and gemini um there's always a vimeo extended we talked about that that link is right below you can subscribe to vimeo as well it's in fact it's a good idea because then you get access to the extended readings a day before and they are they're definitely standalone so um that's pretty cool um and then 
join me on Instagram because Monday through Friday, I do a daily tarot card reading over there and I'd love for you to find me and join me. Born underscore without underscore boundaries. And let's get into your animal totems. Let's see how the universe is going to be talking to you. And remember, these animal totems, you may not see the actual animal. The bottom line is their imagery is going to be coming in and around you. I I had just gotten, I love you guys and the, the messages that you send to me. I got a DM. I got a DM today, for example. I got a DM today from a Scorpio who are awesome. And um, basically she told me, you had said that there's hawk energy in our reading. And then I came back to my desk and it didn't have a name on it, but somebody left me this little gift and it was a hawk pin. So it's like, understand that these animal totems are gonna be shapes. These images are gonna be coming up in a lot of different places. Underlying energy, there was a sickness here. There was something growing, something bothering you at the very least. Um, something to do with sickness, maybe illness, maybe the fucking pandemic. Um, it was, it's underlying all of these energies. So just be very aware that there's some sort of energy that's making you sick or could be literally, could be psychologically, could be spiritually. I feel like for most of you, it's spiritual. It's, 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 it's making you sick. It's making you ill. Why are you still containing it? This is the time to jump on it and get it out and purge it and heal it and, and, and kill the illness, right? Um, know your worth. This is skunk, right? Skunks are so cute. If you see them in the wild, they're adorable. Just don't like run at them, <laughs> right? <laughs> and don't let your dog loose by them. Um, but skunk energy is don't try to be like, you see the stage, you see the step away from the crowd, you see I am alone. Why are you worried about being alone? If they don't approve of you for who you are, then they don't approve of you. You have to be who you are and show who you are out loud. And this is the time to shine because of your uniqueness, because you are singular. It's the time, like a lot of times we dull our shine because we're afraid to be on our own. But you know what? Don't. Don't. Not in this energy. There's too much opportunity that's coming for you by standing out. Life is speeding up and it's coming together. This is Gemini energy. So this is like communications are coming in. Opportunities are being offered to you. People are connecting with you. Everything seems to be connecting the dots and falling into place easily. Please let it happen. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I hope you said rabbit, rabbit on April, April 1st. So this is uh, luck and abundance is coming into you. This is also opportunity to multiply what you already have. So I'm telling you, it's like, or it's just abundance of passion. It's like it's growing and growing and growing and it's exploding and popping out. Of course, it is also fertility. So that could indicate that you are really, really dig in somebody and the two of you will conceive or have the ability to conceive maybe not today or tomorrow but this is like the person you would want to have babies with that kind of energy mm. and then lion spirit this is be generous of spirit be generous and this is your heart chakra and this is knowing what you want and knowing full well all the passion that you have and you are royalty and then you get the lion too right this, this, this is you just, just being yourself out loud and being a knockout and, and you're speaking about something. You're saying something you have confidence and you're, you're like confronting shit, but you're also like above shit. You have integrity, but you standing by that integrity, right? You're not letting somebody else shit on you. There's definitely confrontation here. Let's get into your angel messages and then we'll go to the tarot card reading in the extended clarity fear, diversity. Oh my God. There's a lot of them, man. You ready? You ready? Clarity. Close your eyes for a moment. You can do it. I have to read the card. Breathe in the blue of the sky. Feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace. There is clarity. A magical healing has just taken place. A gift from your guardian angel. This is you getting back a hold of yourself. Fear. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust, 
that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. What are you afraid of? What are you hiding from? Stop. Because now's the time to let people see you. Harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. So it's not what we're given. It's what we do with what we're given. Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is all about music and harmony. You got singing, you got song. You're, you're definitely like, what is going on? There's, you will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. And that means talking to somebody honestly and getting through the bad shit. Courage. You have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. And that's the... the uh, God, it keeps reiterating itself over and over again. Courage, lion, stand by your heart, stand in your authority, stand up for what you believe in, believe in yourself. Imagine, clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul, and so it will come to be. Let you and me continue this message over in tarot. I will see you guys there.